Hey, it's me again. Who? It's me, Mario. This video was delayed because it took me a lot of time getting this hot armor. Wait, not this. This one. Hot Aurora armor. But that's not all. You can go further to burning. To get to burning, you need 20 kudra teeth for one piece. And did I mention each kudra drops a single kudra teeth or tooth, I guess? So I did a ton of kudra runs. And now that I've acquired the kudra teeth, I need to spend just a few coins on crimson essence. Nice. Now that I have everything I need, upgrade montage. I finally upgraded it to burning. But look at this. Mana region 3. Ew! I spit on it. Just having mana region 3 is not enough. I need more. But the shards are kinda expensive. Now, don't tell this to anyone. But there's a secret way to upgrade attributes. By using other Kudra armor pieces. All you have to do is put your Aurora on the left. And any other piece with the attributes you need on the right. And boom, level upgraded. This trick was obviously discovered by me. Don't look it up. Now just having good armor isn't enough. You need good equipments. Last vid, you saw me spend 7 mil on a glowstone gauntlet. Well, this episode, we'll be getting even more equipments with mana pool and mana regen. Now a lot of people may ask you, why mana regen? Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of my Storm set and Aurora set. And as you can see, the Aurora sheds the Barb Duke without even requiring an overflux. Don't worry, it won't be as expensive as last week. It's gonna be even more expensive. Like this Magma Necklace that costs almost 30 mil to craft. And this thing that costs your arm, leg, and firstborn child to craft. Now this wasn't even the most expensive thing I got at time. Are you sick and tired of being flung around by Kudra tentacles? Well, those days are over now with the new look down and right click technology. The look down. Are you lonely and have no friends? No, I've got friends. Well, I am. So join my Discord with your friends and show me what it's like to have them. Are you too rich and don't know what to do with your money? No, I need to pay my student loans. Haha, <laughs> you can pay them later. Become a channel member because that's the best way to use your money is by supporting me. Are you green? Add over. The most expensive thing I bought was this. An eccentric painting bundle. That allows me to get the bizarre reforge. Now what does that do? It wastes your money. It's slightly better than a 1500 coin reforge. I truly am the greatest at spending my coins wisely. Speaking of spending my coins wisely, you guys know snail pets, right? Their prices were going up for a while. Cause everyone wanted to buy enchanted red sand for kudra keys. And how do you craft them? With burning eyes that drop from flaming spiders. 
These spiders have around 2.5 mil HP, or as Australians call it, look at it, look at it. it whoa. It's a mess, isn't yeah, it? Beyond a mess. Oh, like words, words can't explain. But I can only deal around 1.4 mil damage, which makes grinding a bit slower. But mathematically, being a Athropod six should be able to push my damage to around 2.5 mil. So I got it and removed my Smite seven. Now with a big smile on my face, burning with anticipation, I used it. But the damage difference was smaller than the piece of Reaper Pepper refraction bit into. But the story gets better. Since I had removed Smite Seven, I stopped two tapping the Magma Cube Riders, meaning I just wasted so much coin for literally nothing. Or as Drew Gooden once said, "Man, you gotta <laughs> spend money to lose money." I spent this much money on gear, but how did I make it? Well, through Kudra. I dropped some really good loot. Through some really good runs and made a lot of coins. Quick shill, but if you want a guide on Kudra, I'll add it in the outro. In my Kudra guide video, somebody asked me a question: What is the best way to grind vanquishers? Now I know three main methods: stronghold farming, where you farm the mobs in the stronghold, Now another method is magma cube rider farming. I personally do this method as you can farm two mobs at once and also make a lot of money on the side. I once got four vanquishers in 15 minutes doing this. The other way is to grind flares. They can be found in the magma cube boss room. I personally don't do it as the mobs are kind of dangerous. But that's not the end of it, cause I still need to get Infernal Tear Aurora, a Golden Dragon, max out Hyperion, get all the talismans, and so much more. And it's gonna cost. So back to Kudra. If you watched the video up to this point, I'd say thank you. If you want to watch more videos like this, click the button on the left. If you want to continue watching my content, click the button on the right. If you want to help support the channel, consider being a channel member or maybe join the Discord. And don't forget to leave a comment as I read all comments.